Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a crazy video as usual. So in our last couple of videos, we've been covering a story about a top YouTuber over here in Fortnite with over 500k subscribers and millions of millions of views who was accused of cheating and macroing in order to get where he is on YouTube. And as you guys know, in his recent video, he defended himself with his response and hundreds of thousands of people believed him. Well, I'm here to tell you today, guys, he lied to you. Serpent was outed by one of his best friends, saying that he was cheating in every single one of his videos, and now his organization has completely dropped him. We're going to cover that and also the new Fortnite map that everyone is posting on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, saying, oh my god, I can't believe this is the map, it's been leaked. It is fake and I have 100% proof and I'm going to show all of you guys that later in the video as well as that we're talking about Tifu, Cloaksy, Mongrel, huge superstars on Twitch getting copyright striked and potentially banned completely from Twitch. Congratulations to our last video's V-Buck and G-Fuel giveaway winner. William, I have requested to follow you on Instagram. All you got to do is accept it, then show me proof that you did subscribe to my channel with all notifications on and like the last video. If you guys want a chance to win v bucks or G Fuel just like William, all you need to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel and turn all notifications on, then leave a comment down below with either your Instagram, your Twitter, or your Discord tag and what you want, either G Fuel or v bucks, and we'll be picking the winner in the next video. But now guys, let's go ahead and jump into the serpent story and his best friend who exposed him yesterday on YouTube for cheating in every single one of his videos. This player's name is Tweaks, and he's actually in the same organization over time that Serpent was in as well. And for those of you guys who followed the situation on Twitter, you've probably seen Tweaks somewhere here or there defending Serpent and saying that he's legit, we have proof, he's going to show it, etc, etc. Well, everything changed yesterday when he dropped this post on Twitter. When Parallel EJ first accused Serpent AU, Hontal and I spent the next 48 hours investigating into whether or not Serpent was using hacks or not. We asked multiple times for hand cams, and he initially said that he didn't have a webcam. We suggested he use his phone. He then provided us with a hand cam that we asked him to re-record with desktop and his task manager showing. He remade it a couple of times, and we believed him. Before he posted the hand cam, Hantao and I suggested that he do another free build with more editing just to make it more solid. Due to what happened to K-Quid and how urgent this was, we wanted to post it as soon as possible. He explicitly said that he wanted to make another video following up with his initial defense with another hand cam. After Serpent posted his defense, we still suggested that he get a webcam so that he could stream. He went dark for around 24 hours on us. He then later confessed to us that the entire time since day one, he had been using a macro to edit and reset. This is why he didn't want to do a hand cam. Both Overtime and I did not want to stay silent and support someone who profits off cheating. Wow, so his own best friend exposed him on Twitter, but not only did he do it on Twitter, he then made a video on YouTube so he could clear his name because Tweaks this whole time was defending a cheater because he thought he was legit, but he wasn't. Let's go ahead and roll that video where he did apologize. Serpent AU has been using a macro to cheat in Fortnite ever since the start, pretty much from his exact first um, editing video. Serpent has been using a macro to double edit and reset builds insanely fast. I want to start off by saying that no one knew about this until today, as of the day I'm recording this. Um, no one in overtime knew, Hantel didn't know, I didn't know, Serpent's best friend didn't know. Uh, we're all pretty much blindsided by this and we're quite hurt to be honest the fact that he's lied to us um, I can speak on behalf of myself and say I feel embarrassed the fact that um, I've defended him and I've put my faith into him You know full trust into believing him, you know um, We've tried so hard to defend him after he was accused by Parallel EJ, we spent uh, the majority of the 48 hours after that um, helping him with his video, you know, uh, me and my friend, we pretty much structured the entire video for him. Um, after that video, Serpent confessed to us that he did use a macro one time, um, and that was included in the video, he, he confessed to that, 
but he hadn't told us that he'd been using a macro the entire time uh, up until today. That, no, the, he only told us today is what I mean. Um, all of the clips that was in his response video is what he sent to us. So we were 100% on his side as well. Um, Hantau and I, we told Serpent to include another hand cam with our free building and editing, all that kind of stuff. Um, we told him to get a webcam so that he can stream and prove his innocence uh, live on stream. He didn't respond when we said that. Um, we kept asking for more hand cams and then it would take him hours to respond to which he basically just lied. Um, Serpent built an entire career off of this. Um, 540,000 subscribers all lied to. Uh, from the first video to the video that he uploaded a day ago, he has built his channel upon a Fortnite macro and pretty much lied to everyone. He's on salary for overtime. He gets paid thousands in ad revenue, uh, song promos, um, support a credit code, all things like that. I know for a fact that the money he has made is in the tens of thousands, pretty much all of lying to his fans. I don't, I'm, not sh I'm not sure really what to say. I feel embarrassed for even defending him. I put all my faith into him and I regret that. I really do regret trusting him and I, I look like an idiot and he made me look like an idiot. Wow, and that's it. Serpent AU exposed for cheating by his best friend and he has been removed from his organization. As you can see right here, Overtime dropped a statement yesterday on Twitter. So it seems like he's done and he's been completely silent. He might pull a K quit and just leave the community. But honestly, he just needs to apologize to all of his fans that he lied to and tricked for over a year. Unbelievable stuff. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. But let's move on now and let's talk about something awesome we did over on the Kangarna channel today. We uploaded a video titled, Last to Stop Playing Fortnite Wins $1,000 Crazy Challenge. You guys can go watch that right now. Link is down below in the description. It was one of the craziest videos we've ever filmed. Go check it out. And now, let's move on to the next topic, which is this new map that's coming up everywhere. Huge YouTubers have been posting it and saying, it's the new map it's been leaked by these legit people on Instagram and Twitter it's literally everywhere well guys we have proof that it's actually not the new map at all so Plalism hopped in on the train on Twitter and he said this is the new map leak am I the only one that thinks this is the worst thing ever and then a friend of mine who actually has made some art for me named EA skate concepts he replied to Plalism and he said sorry to ruin your engagement tweet but this is just a scene commission I did a while back and then he posted two screenshots of proof that he actually did make it and upload it on May 1st 2020 so everyone that is actually posting it has just been tricked or lied to or maybe they're trying to trick you into thinking it's the new map but it isn't now while this isn't the new map I still do believe that Fortnite is going to flood the island I don't think it'll be this bad that's a little drastic and if Epic Games does do something like that Oh man, we're in for a world of pain. But I do think they're going to flood it just a little bit. Some of the drop spots will be underwater, which I think will be unique and really cool, especially if there's sharks we can ride around on. That's going to be awesome. So let me know what you guys think about the next season. Do you think it'll be flooded? Or maybe it won't be. Let us know down below in the comments. But let's move on to the final topic, which does have to do with Twitch and copyrighted music. So the other day, out of nowhere, huge Twitch streamers started freaking out on Twitter about getting copyright strikes and potentially potentially losing their whole entire Twitch channel. One person who got hit by it was Mongrel. He said, I got a copyright strike on Twitch. For what? Bro, I have played so many songs on stream while cranking. What do I do? And it also affected Cloaksy. He tweeted out, got a DMCA copyright strike, two more and my Twitch account is permanently gone. Kind of Kinda crazy, five years of work can just vanish in two seconds. So what's going on right now is that massive, massive record labels out there who have the biggest music artists in the world like Drake, DaBaby, and so many more are now going and striking Twitch channels who have been streaming with those artists' music are now getting striked and potentially going to lose their entire Twitch channels. And it's crazy, it's beyond ridiculous. Even Tifu tweeted this out, imagine promoting someone's music to your community just to get a DMCA strike and 
potentially losing your channel. That's unbelievable. Tifu didn't get any strikes because he actually uses a lot of copyright free music on his channel because he uploads YouTube videos from it and he doesn't want to get striked there. But still, overall, this is really crazy and now we're entering a day and age on Twitch where we can't listen to whatever music we want. We have to play copyright free music. Oh man, that kind of sucks. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that down below. I'll definitely continue to follow this story in upcoming videos to see what happens. Hopefully this isn't something that's going to last forever, but you just never know. Anyways, guys, that will be the end of the video. Do not forget though, go watch that Kungarna video. It was insane. Our players literally stayed up for over 24 hours in order to win $1,000. It was similar to a Mr. Beast video and it was super fun to film. As well as that, don't forget, use code KNG at checkout for your entire G Fuel order to get a discount. They just dropped new can today in the Bahama Mama flavor, one of my favorite. So go get them, guys. That's it for me. I love you so much. I'm out of here. Peace.